Welcome to Maximising Efficiency with DEX. Today, I'm joined by Katie Dutton, who is a long-standing member of the DEX team and one of our product experts internally. So, me and Katie are going to be looking at how you can save hours of time um, on a process that is very manual um, and DEX has a solution. And that thing is reconciling supplier statements. So, I'll show you the new update, two supplier statements and DEX's new feature uh, within the product. So, within your cost inbox, this is where we've landed within DEX. And you can add supplier statements either from here by clicking the item that's arrived in your cost inbox. You can then go into tools and you can move this to supplier statements. You can also add documents from here and select the supplier statements and drag and drop them in there if they're saved on your desktop somewhere. Okay. Once we've gone through that and we've arrived here at supplier statements, let's just talk about how I used to do it back in practice. This was pain of mine, it was a pain of any team that worked underneath me, but when a client wanted to reconcile what they owed their supplier versus, you know, what Zero or QuickBooks said owed their supplier, it would be a real pain. You'd have to get the, I would print the supplier statement out. I'd be going down there with a highlighter comparing what I found on the statement versus what I found in the um, purchase ledger within Zero, And it's a real meaningless task and but sometimes needs to be done. So. Katie, what is the solution we've got and how does it go about solving that uh, problem? Uh, I just want to also talk slightly about, well, say slightly about it. Um, did you ever used to have to sit on the floor and stack up the invoices and then print off that statement and then just go tick, tick, tick? Because that was... I was, you know, I, that's a, yeah, I was telling your age that thing, Katie. I was only, you know, I'm a, I've been at zero since the, since the start of my uh, accounting career, but uh, I know the pain. I do know the I pain. I remember the days of quick <laughs> and Sage 50. It was a very long time ago. Um, but yeah, moving on swiftly to the lovely supply statements feature index. So this has, I think, it's 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 been a hugely requested feature for so long um and i think we've we've not only gone and done it but we've done it in a really much more efficient way um than than i even i expected at the beginning because of the extra bits that you get in uh with with zero so um we're going to talk about the zero connection with it today um so as it says at the top so what it will do is it will bring in obviously the supplier statement it will read the outstanding balance but it will take it a step further so it's going to tell us that we have that outstanding balance on the statement which is 2880 pounds but then it's also going to tell us what's in our zero account and what actually is outstanding in zero and then the final bit then is it's going to tell us the difference so it will it will obviously take that the difference in zero take the difference from the back uh, from the statement and then we can start to actually work out a little bit more what's going on. So you'll see here, I'll take you through the first couple. So missing, it's quite self-explanatory. It is missing. <laughs> so we don't have that invoice yet, but it's not just about what's in Dext. It's also looking at what's in zero as well. So it's saying that it's missing in zero and it's also missing in Dext. So this is saying that actually, you know, these are still outstanding. What we can then do is rather than, you know, coming out of Dext, going to find our you know, client's email address, why don't we just request the paperwork directly from Dex itself? So what we can do here is we can type in the email, put in a name. We can also then put in a note and just say, you know, look, we're missing these. And then rather than having to kind of type out each one, it's just picking this out for us. So we've got that date, we've got the reference, et cetera, et cetera. So now we can just send that off to them nicely, nicely. So that's that's how that works. Um, the next bit then is in payables and Dex. So what this is telling us is it's indexed, which is great, but it's also then been published into our zero account. So we've got the in payables part and Dex. So then we know that actually all of that, that bit's all nicely, you know, ticked off on the list for us. I will pass on to Max now to talk about the other the other two as well. Perfect. So you've left me with the, the, the funkier status <laughs> one is to go through. So the next three are a little bit different. So this one you can see here is green as well. As we know the job to be done here is reconciling what's on the statement to what's in zero, not anything other than that. So what this is telling us is yes, it's green. However, this document's never been 
um, index. It's only ever been in the payable, so in your Zero account. So if you are using approvals with index, which is just around the corner, and someone has bypassed that approval step and put something in Zero, we want to just let you know that it's just in just in payables only. It's just in that Zero. It's never been through that DEX approval flow. But in terms of reconciling and this job that we're currently doing, it does match. That document is on the statement and it's also in Zero. Okay. Then we're moving down to indexed only. So this effectively means we found something on your statement. It's indexed, but we've not yet, you know, we've not yet published it. And what you can do there is click not yet present index, click that. It'll take you to that purchase invoice index and you can go forward and publish that into your zero account from there. And then finally, looking the opposite way, it's going to look at zero, look at your purchase ledger and it's going to say, right, okay, there's a transaction in there that's not on this statement, but it's within this date range. So for example, you might have had a incorrect uh, purchase invoice uh, allocated to that supplier in zero, or they've missed this, they've missed an invoice off their supplier statement in error. Either way, you probably need to know to be able to sort it. So what this is just is gonna say, this item is not extracted from the statement, but it is in zero. So we don't really know why it why it is there. You can click that link there and it'll take you directly to that invoice within zero. So you can have a little look and explore that in a little bit more detail. Once you've made the changes, you just go ahead, click refresh, and those errors will start to go. And when they're all saying green, you can go in and, and tick that as mark as reconciled within there. Hopefully that's gonna save you guys tons and tons of time and you can save the planet of um, no more uh, highlighter pens and we can go forward in, in a happier, happier bookkeeping environment. So continue maximizing efficiency and thank you Katie for joining me on this one. And we look forward to catching up with you very, very soon. Cheers.